All right. So I'm going to introduce Leah and Sam. Um, I don't know if it's just going to be Leah or Sam, but um, Leah and Sam have been with World Global, Global Network since February and achieved the rank of Diamond in nine weeks. Leah has a master's degree in wellness management with 12 years experience in wellness industry and public health. Sam is a graphic designer and owner of two small businesses. So this is Leah. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, Krista. Nice to meet you, Don. Yeah, you as well. <laughs> Other people are jumping on here shortly, okay, but okay. we'll just let them jump on in the middle. Yeah, and that's why we recorded. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys for jumping on here. Um, I don't, we don't take your time lately, so we very much thank you for taking a look at this. Um, I'm going to just kind of zip through this. It'll take about 15, 20 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, like she mentioned, we've been doing this since February. Um, we hit the rank of diamond in nine weeks or so. Once we got our head right and realized the opportunity in front of us, which was pretty exciting because uh, diamond is a six-figure income. So to be able to do that in nine weeks, it, it's been a huge blessing for us and for our family. And it's been super exciting to continue to launch other people's business and have teach people to follow in our footsteps and do the same. It's just, we have an incredible opportunity here. And again, we have a variety of people that check this out. So you are, and I'm gonna mute everyone out here so you don't have any background noise. All right, I know we, it's typically a variety of people that are on these calls as we're launching people's businesses. Maybe you're kind of looking for something you need, whether it's a career change or just extra income. Um, you just maybe you're one of those people that are just praying for something to come into your life. Um, maybe you're on here just doing Chris a favor, checking this out, or Stephanie. Um, that's okay too. We appreciate you for being on. Um, or maybe you're like my husband and I. We absolutely were not looking when this came across our path. We have three businesses. Um, he has a full time job, three kiddos, all that good stuff. So didn't need anything else on our plate by any means. But with my background in public health, I know that this device is absolutely going to change lives. And then when I realized it's coming, like everyday people like you and I get to bring this to the world, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. So we had to take a second look into it and kind of figure out how we were going to make it fit because it was one of those things that we couldn't not go all in on. So, and we're thankful we did because like I said, again, in about nine weeks, just everything changed for us. So I'm going to go share my screen here and go through some slides. Um, and kind of give you guys a bigger picture of what the heck, what, what is World Global Network and what are we doing here? One sec. All right. Can you guys see my screen? Thumbs up? Yeah, good. Okay. So yeah, so our company is World Global Network. It's been around for about six years. It's just never been in the US or Canada before. So that's why people are like, why have I never heard of World Global Network? Um, it was a telecommunications company overseas. Um, about two years ago, did a complete rebrand. We got into the wearable tech space because our, our, um, our CEO, Fabio Galdi, he has diabetes. Actually, his father has diabetes. He, he, he's an absolute creative genius, technology inventor, one of the first people to do invent the LCD touchscreen, one of the first people to bring the internet to Italy. Like he's known as the Steve Jobs over where he, in his parts where he lives and in the technology space. So he decided he wasn't using those God-given talents to better quality of life for people. So and he, knowing where the trend of wearable tech is right now, it's exploding. So he just, he knew we had to completely rework that, um, develop the Hilo, and that's why we're in this space we are today. And through this device was also his entrance then into the US market. So that's why you probably haven't heard, heard it before. So I am gonna play our income disclosure. Here, we always do that on these presentations. To see our full income disclosure, please visit our website at www.worldgn.com. Awesome. All right, so most people have typically seen a two minute video prior to this. In case not, our flagship product is called the Hilo. So we can see I'm wearing it on my wrist here. What it is, it's a wearable device. It's similar to in concept to like a Fitbit. Um, but much, much more of a health monitor and does a lot more than a Fitbit does. So some of the common things um, that people think of is like the steps and calories, the sleep, um, that we actually do also mood and energy. It's done by heart rate variability. We have breath rate, heart rate, and um, the biggest draw right now for people has been our ability to do blood pressure. So it's the first time that just from a device on your wrist, we can constantly be able to, somebody can monitor their blood pressure through an app on their phone. And we have this really cool function called the Guardian, where I can set it up to where my husband can get alerted if my metrics go to range or 
and my mom lives on her own. She, if her, if I can set, if I want to know if her blood pressure or her heart rate goes to, you know, out of X, Y, and Z range, I'm going to get an alert and she lives on her own. So just that peace of mind that you can, you can literally monitor your loved ones from anywhere in the world through your, our We Care app on your phone. And then there's this cool button on the side of it that if you push it twice, it, it's your panic button. So if I push this right now, my husband's going to get a text message and he'll be like, what are you doing? You're just downstairs. <laughs> but he, it also would tell him, like, I pushed my panic button. And so thinking about that, you know, like our 14-year-old daughter has one on. So if she pushes hers, it'll send me a text message that she pushed her panic button and it'll give me, it'll show me a map of exactly where she was when she pushed it. So for, in, for instances like that, you know, teenage kiddos, again, my mom living on her own, if she just can't pick up her phone for whatever reason, I know she can push her panic button and it's going to alert me to go check on her. So there's so many instances where something like, there's so many different things with our device that really speak to different people, depending on what it is that will meet their needs. And you guys, what is coming is absolutely revolutionary. So the device as it is today is awesome. But we are about to do three very significant things, and it will just continue. Okay, the first one is blood glucose. Right now, we are going to be the first device that does non-invasive blood glucose monitoring. Again, from this device on a wrist and an app through your phone. So diabetics typically have to prick their finger up to six times per day, and those test strips are a dollar a pop. I've talked to so many that don't do it as often as they need to because of the cost and because they're sick of pricking their dang finger. And I can't even imagine, so I don't blame them one bit. But so they're like, let me know. As soon as you can do that, oh my gosh. Because they, well, they won't have to do that as much and the cost savings is going to be incredible. Not to mention, again, with that guardian function, you will be able to monitor people, other people that, have, that are wearing a Hilo and see what their blood glucose levels are doing. So it's absolutely, like, this is going to absolutely make this device go to the moon with 29 million people just in the U.S. As, that are type 2 diabetics. Um, and so more people are even actually monitoring their blood sugar levels that aren't just but for because of weight concerns, wanting to know what, you know, what different eating different foods does to their blood sugar levels and all that kind of stuff. So the second thing that we're going to, um, we don't have a timeline yet. We just purchased the corporation out of Silicon Valley that does the technology because we are a publicly traded debt-free company. So they, the, this, this, um, this technology that came out, we just got, we all have exclusive rights to it because we just bought the whole company. Um, we are going to be able to do blood alcohol monitoring. So think about that. Now people, as you're having a couple glasses of wine, hmm, am I, if I drive home, am I over the legal limit? You will actually be able to look at your app on your phone and know what your blood alcohol levels are. And again, with that guardian function, thinking about as I have a teenager that would know, be like that before she's 21, I can monitor in that way too. Like, okay, I better not be driving home tonight, that kind of thing. So the implications of that and being the only device in the world that will be able to just monitor blood alcohol levels like that, it's crazy to think about what that's going to do. And then for those of us that live in I don't, the Northwest Minnesota, North Dakota area, you guys, this thing is gonna have a mosquito shield. <laughs> which is absolutely insane. So it'll be able to, based on, because it's connected to the internet through your phone, it will know the species of mosquitoes based on your, where your location is and will be able to do a deterrent around you. I don't know what the exact range is gonna be yet, but to where it helps with mosquitoes. So we have a whole team of people growing in Nigeria, actually, because of how, like it's life threatening, the, the, the malaria and the mosquito issues there. So that's just where the, the first few things that are coming out next for our device. So I'm going to go through kind of five points on that's about the device and our flagship product, but why is that, is that such a good business opportunity? So we have a very, very relevant product. Um, this, is, this information here is according to Forbes. The industry of wearable technology was $14 billion last year. Okay, and that over the next two and a half years, it's going to increase by $20 billion to 20, uh, $34 billion um, in the, by 2020. And again, this is going to happen even before World Global Network got involved here. If without you, whether or not you or I are in this company or doing this, wearable tech is just going there. They say it's going to replace the smartphone one day. Um, and so it's just, it's huge. And even healthcare is going this way. Fortune 500 companies and corporations and whatnot are trying to get 
lower healthcare costs and giving these wearables to their employees to, again, give them more awareness on what their health is doing. And we know technology runs the world. It doesn't slow down or move backwards before it makes leaps and bounds. And thinking of different companies that have boomed overnight in technology, like the Tesla, uh, Uber is a huge rate one right now, Airbnb, technology runs the world. And this is just the first time ever in history that just the average Joe can get involved and get some of that technology money. So we have no competition, that's the second point. There's no other device like this in the world. And thinking about in the direct selling and network marketing space, you know, there's a lot of great companies out there. Um, they're great, great products. I am a huge advocate of the industry, so I never put down other products or companies, but 80% of these of the companies out there are either in skincare or in makeup or well, health and wellness supplements or, you know, um, shakes, that kind of thing. So it's just crowded conversations that, you know, that you're not the only makeup company in town kind of thing. So here, there's no one else doing technology, so it doesn't compete with anything anyone's doing. We have a lot of people that come on board and do it in conjunction with their current business already, and then they can decide from there kind of where they want to spend their time focusing on, but it doesn't compete. Um, and we've been featured on the news seven times now, I think. <laughs> Prior to me getting involved, it was on the Fox News three times. Um, we just had it on the Today Show like a month ago. Carson Daly was wearing a Hilo, which was really, really fun. And then um, probably like three weeks ago now, a CBS News featured actually a family on our team who has a little boy um, that's, he has an illness where he, his blood pressure drops and like to life-threatening levels. And I, I, I talked to this mom and she said, like, this device will do this? Like, I, you have no idea. Every morning I go into his room and I don't know if I'm going to find my son alive because I know in the middle of the night his blood pressure can drop. And for the first time ever, I have peace of mind that I'm going to get an alert if it starts to drop. So they, they did a whole news feature on her and what this device is doing for their family. So that, that was, I'm like, if we do nothing else, <laughs> that was such validation for me that we're, we're in doing some really cool things here. So like I mentioned, we're a publicly traded company. So that even brings people that might not ever like, oh, I don't do one of those direct selling things. It's publicly traded. We have completely open records. We are about 90 days away from taking this company to the NASDAQ. And you can see here what the stock has been doing. So if we have anybody on this call that um, kind of watches stock, you're going to want to. I know what the CEO's goals are for this. So WRMT is the ticker symbol, and um, it's definitely going to be one you're going to want to watch. So the third point is we have a partnership with Toshiba. And yes, that is the 100-year-old multi-billion dollar technology company, Toshiba. Um, they actually manufacture our, the processors, the chips in our device. And so another question we get a lot is, well, why is this not coming out the same way like Fitbit or Garmin's do and being on a shelf at Target? And um, it's actually, they, it, it was supposed to, or it was going to, because when Toshiba decided they wanted to make a, an entrance into the wearable tech space, knowing that it's such a huge industry right now, they came to Fabio, knowing, he, again, he's this tech genius, and said, we, we know you're, you have this prototype device with these algorithms that can do stuff that's never been done before. We want to buy your device. And he would not sell because he's so passionate about what we're going to do for with people being able to monitor their health. He said, if anybody that knows technology in the world's economy today, there is no faster way to bring a product to market than through network marketing and word of mouth. So he wouldn't sell. And so he said, we can partner, but I will not sell. So the Toshiba's lawyers did, like I think, a three-month research on the company, make sure everything checked out because obviously that's huge if they're going to put their name on it. And obviously we have AAA rating the DSA, we're a top 100 company, like the company is totally legit. So they said game on and a partnership was formed and that's why the Hilo is coming out through network marketing. And based on, I'm gonna show you what we've done in just 10 short months, it was the right choice. So something that's going to make our device continue to increase in value is we have our, our own app store. So now we have, right now we have 200 app developers working on, um, to develop different apps that will take the biometrics that our device reads and make it even more customizable. So if somebody wants something really specific for fitness, but that will also take into consideration like breath rate and blood pressure and that kind of thing. Or there's gonna be blood oxygen apps in it. I mean, the sky is going to be the limit here. And bringing this to the conversation, like from a business perspective, I like to relate it to the story of Apple. Back in 2007 is when Apple entered the mobile market. And it wasn't because they had awesome um, hardware or, you know, 
it, it was actually the entrance of their app store that made them dominate the competition. And all the different time, anytime people download different apps, all those are called microtransactions, and that's responsible for $3 billion in revenue every single month for Apple. So now bring that here, we have our own app store, and every time people download new apps for their device, that is going to be more volume that you will get paid out on in your organization. And speaking of Apple, we have a gentleman named Antonio De Rosa on staff. Um, he was actually the concept designer for the iPhone. Um, so he was the iPhone 537 and the iWatch. So he is actually now, he's on our corporate staff. He's our um, chief design officer, and he actually designed the Hilo. And you'll notice even our boxes are super, super Apple-esque. <laughs> it looks just like an iPhone box, so he can got his, his touch all over it. So when he says that this is what he sees the Hilo doing for um, wearable tech, what the iPhone did for the mobile industry, I'm like, okay, game on. <laughs> this is going to be huge. So we have also very easy systems. We obviously have an amazing device, but how do you share it with people? And um, you guys might have seen it already. We have a two-minute video, and I need to update this. It's now a seven-minute video that just kind of introduces people to the device or the business opportunity, and then a 30-minute overview of something similar to this. And we just you know, share, share it with people, and some people decide they want to get involved. Others decide they just want to be customers or we just say thank you for checking it out. Um, but it's a very, very simple system. And the beautiful thing is this is a truly a home-based business. We call it network marketing of 2017. You do not need to go out into a single party or a hotel meeting or anything. I do everything from my home office. And we actually were in Jamaica a few months ago and I was doing these same calls right from our resort hotel room. So we have a new family plan now that we're going to live somewhere else. We're going to decide we're going to travel for the next three summers because this is because of this opportunity where we're going to be retiring my husband from his full-time job. And we're just going to travel around and decide where do we want to live because we can do this from anywhere. It's such a blessing. On the bottom here just kind of shows you if you Google um, business for home and the top 200 network marketers, we have 10% of that list all in under a year already because of how fast this is moving. So this is that slide I was mentioning of what we've done already in just 10 months. So we have already, as far as all wearable tech, surpassed companies like Microsoft and Sony and Jawbone, and we're number four right now at 5% market share. Based on what we've done and we're, what we're projected to do throughout the rest of this year, we're pretty sure we're going to wrap up the end of this year at number two in the wearable tech space, and it's coming up through network marketing. It's fabulous. So not only, it's not just the major CEOs that get blessed and financially free, now hundreds of thousands of families can make a very good living right from their home and have the flexibility. So um, yeah, and this kind of shows a little bit how we're, we're positioning ourselves also to be part of the M Health, so that mobile health where well, healthcare is going to be really much more self-care. So something else that I want to quick mention, two things. We have one other product called the uh, um, BioZen. So it's a sticker chip you just put on the back of your electronic devices. You can see it's on my phone right there. And it takes this basically, if you're familiar with the concept or the term EMFs, which is electromagnetic frequency, um, more and more research is going into because our phones never leave us anymore and we have more tablets and electronic devices than ever before in history, that the cumulative effect of the EMFs that are put off from these devices actually is harmful to our bodies and it's messing with people's DNA, it lowers immunity, and they're just really starting to show you that, see that it's not good and you can actually Google electrosmog and see some really good videos about it. So these, if when you put the sticker chips on your devices, so they say anything like put it on your phones, the kiddos' tablets, on baby monitors, now it takes that away and it makes it so there is no EMFs coming out or there, it's just next to nothing. Um, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So that's the sticker chip. We are releasing a phone here. I'm hoping our international convention is in three weeks and I'm hoping that they'll say the date of it from there, but it will be the first phone in the world that is next to now of the EMFs. It'll be an EMF free phone. Um, so you don't have to even put a chip on it or anything. It's just that way already. Um, it'll be an Android based phone. It can go with any carrier though. Um, it's just through a SIM, a SIM card. Also has like a four to five day battery life. <laughs> like you could, I was sold at battery life. So really exciting that will, that will be our third product basically. So how do you get involved here? Um, you basically just pick your pack. So if you're on here and you're kind of like, huh, I'm not, 
I'm not open necessarily right now to business opportunity, but dang, I want one of those helos. You, the, we just saw you can buy a single helo. Um, most of our business builders come in because they want to reduce the price point down per band at either the family pack or the premium pack. And the family pack is you get four of all the devices, four sets of colored bands because you can swap out the colors also, and four of the germanium stones that snap into the band, and then the four of those bios and chips. Um, premium pack, you get six of everything. Basically, you save about twelve hundred dollars that way. Um, and you can sell the devices. I mean, usually there's you know a family member or something that people always want to put on so they can monitor each other. Um, and then you can just sit there you can have them on hand to swap out with new team members or just to sell outright. Um, and then we also have every once in a while there's somebody that understands EMS and is all over that and loves the BioZen. So you can choose just to do a, a pack of BioZen or add that on to the family or premium pack as well if you want more of those. So, cause we found when I'm like, okay, we need to get them on our devices. We needed about eight just to cover kind of the stuff that's used every day. Um, so you basically just pick your pack and get enrolled and then you can start sharing this and do the very same thing like this. So pretty simple system. We, last thing I'm gonna mention is we have something called the loyalty membership. And what that does is it gives you a protection plan for your devices, your phone, the Hilo, should you break it, you'll get one replaced each year. Um, you get the upgraded app, which will store your data over time. You get that on five devices for free then. Um, and then you, what the best part of this is every month you get 75 points, which are the equivalent to dollars, put into your back office account. Um, so you're paying 59, you're getting all this other stuff, plus $75 in your account that you can then use towards the next generation Hilo when it comes out, the phone, more bios and whatever you want you can use that, that dollars for so it's we actually this is kind of our auto ship basically you know in other companies you have your you know your supplements you might get every month this is our version and the industry standard is 10 to 12 percent of people stay on their auto ship program and which you want because that's your residual income and here we have a 78 percent retention rate because people are just getting more money for their um it's just a really good value. People don't get, you know, where they need to get off of it because they have enough product kind of thing. So really, really good. Um, they're saying that our loyalty membership is actually a revolution in the industry. So I've covered a lot of things here, you guys, and I know I go really fast because I really want to respect your time. The only thing I kind of haven't mentioned throughout this is just we're also, we're an international company. So the world is your playground. There's only one country in the world that you cannot build this business in unless you want to pioneer it. It's North Korea. We're just still waiting for a taker that wants to <laughs> pioneer in North Korea. But uh, otherwise than that, um, right now where there's like we have a launch call Wednesday this week in Australia. On Friday we did one um, in the Philippines. So it's really, really incredible. And it's not necessarily who you know, it's who others know. So it just it's really been exciting to see to be a part of an international technology company. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this up with one of my favorite quotes by Bill Gates. Um, he says, the secret of success in business is detecting where the world will go, world will go and getting there first. And that is truly what we have here. If you had had the opportunity to get in front of Fitbit, knowing how big Fitbit got, and this will be bigger than Fitbit, and got an opportunity to get paid on every device sold, like, would you have done that? Because this is what we're asking. We're, we're giving people the opportunity to get in front of a company that is going to be, mark my word, <laughs> bigger than Fitbit. So th thank you guys again for jumping on here. Um, if you can just get back to St um, Krista or Stephanie, depending on who invited you, and just let them know one of three things. Either we, it's usually, you could have stopped 15 minutes ago, holy heck, I'm in. <laughs> or if you have some questions, let them know that's, we want you to feel very good about your decision. I am happy to answer any questions. Jump back on a Zoom call, anything like that, um, and get them answered. Or if you've decided, you know, it's not for me, um, bless you. And we thank you so much for jumping on here anyway, where it's technology. It's, we're definitely not going to take it personally. But if you could just even give them a number of referral. You know, maybe you know somebody that could be blessed by an opportunity like this or know someone that's super techie or into health and wellness that will really see the value of what we're doing here. So thank you again. I'm